director. She's been with us for a couple of years, started off at our Glen Iris site. It's just a um, after school worker and moved on up in the range. And she's been with us, I think, for about five years now. So generally, she's who I bounce my creative ideas off of. So she came up with this one with the paint. I think it's going to be great. Um, still want to show people that Pinterest is a good source. So we're still using Pinterest for the um, for our ideas. So without further ado, I'm going to turn it over to Miss Knight. Again, remember I said everybody is muted unless you raise your hand and then we'll call on you. Okay, good evening, everyone. I am excited to be able to teach you guys about how to make paint. But first, we want to definitely understand a little bit more about colors and want to understand a little bit more about light. And I'm sure you're wondering, like, what does light have to do with colors? Well, light has a lot to do with the colors that we see. Uh, there is a uh, electromagnetic spectrum. Um, and it definitely is going to give us a little bit more information. But before we get started with that, I want you to get all, make sure you have all of your ingredients, everything we need materials. So hope you got a white piece of paper. This is where we're going to do our business. Um, I have four little kind of jelly jars that I'm going to put uh, my colors in. I'm just going to do red, green, yellow, and blue, but we'll find out about more colors later. Uh, you want to make sure you have your measuring cups. You're going to need a one-third cup. You really can't see it because it's all white, but trust me, this is a one-third cup. Um, you're going to also need one-eighth cup. Now, one-eighth cup is equivalent to two tablespoons. So I have a tablespoon here, so two of these would be one-eighth cup. If you don't have a tablespoon, you can use a one fourth cup and a one, if you do half of, a, of one fourth, that'll be equivalent to one eighth. So, and then I got all my food coloring, all my color. This is what's gonna give our paint that vibrant and beautiful color. Uh, you're gonna need some salt, good old iodine salt, and Flour, you're gonna need some flour. And you're gonna need your bowl to stir everything up in, and of course, a spoon. Uh, and lastly, just something to write with. It can be a pencil, it can be markers, it can be crayons. We're just gonna do something really quick, um, and we're gonna do that now. So I want you to grab your paper. And I want you to think of something that you want to draw. Now, I'm not asking you to draw a big, elaborate picture, but I want you to think of one thing, maybe a flower, a bird, a basketball, a baseball, whatever it is that you want to draw. But you just want to draw that one thing. And so when you draw it, you're just going to draw the outside of it. You're not going to be all intricate with the details because the details is how we're going to use the paint. But we're just going to draw something on the outside. So let me give you an example. So in my mind, what I was thinking about is a heart. So I'm just going to choose a purple crayon, I mean marker, and I'm just going to draw a heart. That's it. So I want you to think of something and I want you to draw it. Don't fill it in, don't color it in, don't do anything uh, big and uh, that has a lot of detail to it. Just be very simple and just draw one item. It could be a face, it could be a hand, whatever, just one thing, but just draw the outside of it. And we're gonna fill it up when we go ahead and we make our paint. Okay, so has everybody got their paper? They're drawing. 
Thumbs up in my drawing. All right. Are you? All right, Ms. Davis, I see you took my idea. I see you. Okay. All right. We got our, okay, good. All right. So now let's go ahead and get uh, into the electromagnetic uh, spectrum. So the electromagnetic spectrum uh, consists of uh, rays that come from stars kind of like energy that comes from stars and that gives us all forms of our light. So we have ultraviolet light and we have infrared light and then there's light that we can see. And so I guess you're wondering why there is light that we can't see. I mean, it's light. If the room is dark and you turn on the light, uh, dumb as night, I can be able to see. but there is light that we cannot see. So on this uh, chart here, you see ultraviolet light. Now, that is light um, that we cannot see. Uh, the, uh, the lens on our eyes does not allow us to see it. But there are some animals that have the ability to see ultraviolet light. Some of those animals are butterflies, reindeers, bees and scorpions. So they can see ultraviolet light. Ultraviolet light, uh, an example of it where we would see it on every, in, our, in our lives is like if you go to the hospital, the hospital, the surgeons, they use the ultraviolet light to sterilize uh, their uh, utensils before going into surgery. And if you ever uh, have broken a bone, or if you know someone that has broken a bone, they had to go and get an x-ray in order to confirm if the bone was broken or not. And so x-rays is a form of ultraviolet light. Then on the other side, you see infrared light. And that's another type of light that we cannot see. But there are some animals that can see infrared light, such as snakes, frogs and blood sucking insects like mosquitoes and bed bugs. So when you think about the snake, the snake when he moves around, he really, really can't see like how we see, but with infrared light, it's more of heat. So they have a heat uh, uh, light that they're able to see their, uh, see things while they're slithering around on the, on the ground. So an example of infrared light for us would be like a microwave. Uh, we can't see the food warming up in, uh, in, in the uh, microwave, uh, how it's getting hot. We don't see a flame, but when we push on that microwave, three minutes, two minutes, and when it comes out, it's nice and warm. That's uh, infrared uh, light. Uh, also, your TV remote control. You're sitting far back away from the TV, and when you push that button, to turn it on, it's gonna turn on. You don't see a light, it's not magic, that's infrared light, but it's a light that we cannot see. So the light that we can see uh, on the electromagnetic spectrum are the colors. And those colors are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. And I cool little acronym that I was taught when I was in school was Roy G. Biff. If you don't remember anything else, remember Roy G. Biff. And that way you'll remember uh, all the colors that we can see. So, go ahead and keep clicking, Ms. Rucker. All right, so there are, go back one, one, one uh, to the last one. There are three different types of color. So you have primary, secondary, and tertiary. Uh, that's a hard word to say, but I got it, tertiary. So uh, go to the next uh, one, please. So as you can see, the primary colors, are red, blue, and yellow. So primary color is a color that cannot 
be uh, mixed together to be made. You cannot make red, you cannot make blue, you cannot make yellow. Those are colors that will always uh, be strong and you can't make them, but you can take those colors to make other colors. So that's called a secondary color when you take two primary colors and then you, the results of that is the secondary color. So if you take red and yellow and you mix it together, you get orange. If you take yellow and blue and mix it together, you get green. And if you take blue and red and mix it together, you get purple. So I guess we can call them like the, the kids of color. The primary color is the mom and the dad, the kids is the secondary color. And then we'll go ahead and say the grandkids are the tertiary uh, color. So these are basically colors, any prime color that is mixed together with a, a, a close color, then it makes a traditionary color. So if you take yellow, which is a prime, orange, which is a, a secondary, secondary color, then it makes a uh, yellow orange. You take a red and you mix it with orange and you get red orange so on and so forth. So that's how when you get your Crayola crayon box, you got all these different colors. But they first start out with the red, the green, I mean, the red, the blue, and the yellow. And from color mixing, then you can go ahead and make other colors, okay? Next slide. Okay, this here is what we call a prism. It's a picture of a prism. So light has a color. Believe it or not, it has a color. And the color of light is white. And when light goes through a glass prism, we then have the colors red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. So what happens is when an object cannot absorb certain colors, it just reflects all of the colors. Sometimes an object will absorb some colors and then only reflect one color, like maybe green. But because the sunlight is white it reflects all of the colors whenever you go you hold up a prism and you flash light through it it'll give you all the colors um, there next one please okay so with colors you know uh those colors look a lot like a rainbow so Miss Knight, how does rainbows form? Well, let me tell you. A rainbow forms when there is sunlight and rain. The light from the sun goes through the raindrop, just like that prism we saw goes through the, 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 uh, the uh, little raindrop and all of the colors come through. And so that's how a rainbow forms. Next screen. So some fun facts about rainbows is no one will see the same rainbow at the same time. You can look and show a friend, hey, look at that rainbow, and they can look at it too. But in fact, they will not see the same thing you see. You will be looking at the rainbow through one raindrop, and then your friend could be looking at it through a, a, a different raindrop. And so how it it, it's it, the, how it appears, it appears totally different. Another fun fact about rainbows is rainbows are actually a circle. So when we view the rainbow, uh, it looks like a semicircle. But rainbows are actually circular, circular. We see it as a semicircle because we're on the ground. But, uh, but that was pretty, pretty cool. So when we see that little leprechaun at the end of the, of the rainbow with a pot of gold, this, this, there's some rainbow up under him, but this doesn't stop like that. 
Uh, another fun fact is a rainbow cannot only be seen in rain, it can be seen in mist, spray, uh, dew, and um, uh, fog. So um, any, any kind of wet temperature, that's when you can be able to see uh, a rainbow. Typically after it rains, that's when we, we normally see a rainbow. So now that we've learned a lot about colors of rainbows, uh, we're going to go ahead and move into our activity. So some pros of homemade finger paint, this one's for the parents. You know, it's made from natural ingredients. One of the biggest things that we wanted to do is that we wanted to do activities with things that you have around the house. We didn't want you to go out and spend money. You know, with these times, we want to be economical and we want to be frugal with our money. And we don't want to uh, just have you going out just buying a ton of products. A lot of this stuff we should have in our in our cabin. And if not, we'll make do. It's non-toxic. So, you know, we put flour on our chicken when we fry it. We put salt on our food when we cook it. We drink water and we use food coloring when we bake. So these are things that are not going to be harmful. And most importantly, if it does spill or if you get on something, it would be easy for you to wash it right on out. And again, it's economical. These things are cheap, probably less than uh, $5. So we already went over the materials. Let's go over the uh ingredients one more time um we're going to use one third cup of water one third cup of salt and one third cup of flour um we already talked about the bowl um and the uh dye so we're going to go ahead and get started so we're going to get our bowl we're going to get our spoon and we're going to go ahead and measure up our one-third water. We're going to go ahead and get our one-third cup of water here. And then we're going to go ahead and slowly pour it in there. You don't want to pour too much. Okay. So once you've got your water, just go ahead and pour it in. Um, then we're gonna, I'm going to go ahead and kind of dry it out a little bit. Then we're gonna go ahead and scoop our flour. Now be careful because flour flies everywhere. You don't wanna drop it. So if you need a little help, ask mom and dad at home. And you want it to be an even uh, amount. You don't wanna fill it up to where it's overflowing. You don't wanna pack it down. Just let it be loose, let it look a little even. And once you got it like that, you just go ahead and Pour that in. All right, knock off any excess. Then we're going to get our salt, our salty salt. And we're going to go ahead and vanilla. This is a lot of salt. Ooh, good grief. Oh, we can just feel our blood pressure rising with all the salt. So we want to go ahead and do one third cup. Again, you don't want to overflow it. You just want it to be just as even as possible. And dump that in. Now we're going to go ahead and stir. So let me say this. When you stir, because all this stuff, the flour was light and fluffy and the salt, if you stir it too hard, it's going to pop up in your face, or get all over the screen of your phone or your laptop or your tablet, and it'll get all over the place. So for this night, did is I have a little with towel, but you want to make sure you start and mix everything uh, really good. Make sure it's mixed up really good and even, but you don't want to just stir too fast and then you make a big mess. So just stir, stir, stir. At first it kind of feels a little doughy, but we're going to handle that. We're going to try to stir as much as possible as we can. All right, get all those off the sides. All right, so does yours kind of look like that? Let me see what you guys look like. Does it kind of look like that? Let me see. Here's Jamie. I see Jamie. All right, Jamie. Okay. 
All right. Yeah, now this is a little the thick. Show crew. This is a little thick. So what we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna have to add that one eighth cup of water. And like I said, two tablespoons is equivalent to one eighth a cup of water, or if you don't have a tablespoon, you can use a one fourth cup and just fill it halfway and then that'll be one eighth cup of water. So I have a tablespoon, so I'm gonna do two of these. Oops, I gotta jump out, so do it slow. It'll be like this night and it jump out on you. All right, two. All right, so this is gonna help it, give it that paint consistency. It's not going to be as thick, but it's going to be loose enough so that when we decide to paint, it's going to be nice and easy. All right, mix it together, make sure it's nice and good. Mix it, mix it, mix it, mix. All right, so that's a lot better. It's a little bit more like paint. Not too thick, not too wet and scoopy. Perfect. So what I, I wanna make a couple of colors. So I wanna kind of mix up a couple of colors since we talked about color mixing. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit of the uh, batter into Crenshaw my- crew is saying paint. how much salt? <laughs> One third I'll, cup of salt. I'll put the um ingredients in the chat box for everybody to be able to see them. Okay, so I poured a little bit. Uh oh, I'm getting Miss Night is getting messy. See, I got a little bit in here, and uh, I'm gonna do two of them. I have four jars. I may change my mind, but I'm gonna do two colors. Okay, so now I got my two uh, batters. So let's see. I don't want to do a traditional color. Um, let's see. I'm going to make orange. So can somebody tell me what two colors do I need to have in order to make orange? Did somebody raise their hand and tell me? Remember, you have to raise your hands. Let's see who's been following. Okay. Drake. Melanie. Melody. What you got? Red yeah. and yellow. Red and yellow. Good job. So, got my yellow. I'm going to do. Uh, maybe three drops this yellow is so light and then I got my red now I got this bigger red so um I'm gonna have to be careful because if I don't I'm gonna pour the whole bottle in there and that's not what I'm looking for I'm just gonna try to do a little uh, uh, play with me y'all play with me that may be too much, but if I need to, I add a little extra yellow. All right, so put that to the side. And I'm going to go ahead. Well, yeah, I put a little bit too much red, but I'm going to try to add a little bit more yellow and see if I can lighten it up. Let's see. Just hope I can. But if not, it's just going to be red yeah sorry i put too much red in there and so since red is a primary color it's a dominant color it just it overpowered the little yellow so this one is going to be red apparently <laughs> so I want to make let's see let's make another what other color should I make somebody tell me what color Give me another color I should make. You're going to make the primary colors first because if you make yellow, then you might can mix some of your yellow and your red together to make okay. the orange. 
Okay. Well, let's see. I guess when we do a yellow one, let's do a yellow one. Let's just do a straight yellow then. And then I'll do a third one, and then that one will be like a color mixture. All right. Let's see. That's nice and yellow. So I have nice and yellow. So what I need to pour a little bit of this red in here. Let's see. Pour a little. Not yet. <laughs> All right, we got an orange. Woohoo! Come on, Miss Rucker, help me out. Teach the teacher, Miss Rucker. All right, so now we got some orange. Yay! So we got an orange paint, we got some red paint. What could somebody give me a uh, suggestion of another paint color I should make? Give me another color I can make. I see Faith. They have color. some red over there. Faith got red? Yeah. All right, Faith. That's my favorite color, too. I love red. Red is powerful. I love it. So I'm going to pour me a little bit more in here. And I'm going to make another color. Somebody give me a suggestion. Anybody want to tell me what color I should make? Great. Raise their hand. Yeah. What you got there? Say it one more time. Purple. Purple. So purple. Uh, what you said her name was um, Melody. Mm -hmm. Tell us your name, Miss okay, Drake. So tell me what colors do I need to make purple? Red and blue. Red and blue. Okay. So uh oh, I'm back to that red. Okay. So which one of those is the primary color? So what color does she need to make first to be able to make? You see, she already has the red. So, what other colors does she need to make? Blue. Blue. So she'll make blue first, and then we'll mix the blue and the red to make the primary. Perfect. Okay. Help. Help me out. Okay. All right. All right. Got some blue in there. Ms. Davis is saying purple for eyes of wear Mitchell. It is purple. Okay, we That's can do color. that. We can do that. Oop. All right. Swipe that up there. All righty. I might need a little bit more red. Okay, let's see. I need a little bit more red. I was trying to be modest. All right, let's see. Oh, it's starting to get purple. It's starting to get there. I see the Crenshaw crew has their hand up. Okay, Crenshaw crew, you got a question? Yeah, I'm muted. No, just wanted us to see you. Let me see what y'all got. Oh, I see the food color out. Uh oh, orange. Y'all made green already? I don't know what happened to my uh, purple. I had my blue. All right, well. Sometimes scientists have to start over from the drawing board, but I can still primary use primary color. colors first and then mix them in something separate. So go ahead and make your blue and make then blue? mix. Yes, and then mix, you can mix it other colors in another container, but so make sure you right, keep your my, primary colors. This is my last, my last jar. All righty.
Okay, that is blue. Okay, so I start with my red first, right? Okay, so I'm just gonna put it in the top. This night is uh making it work as I ran out of containers. And put some of this glue in here. All righty, we got a little, we got some purple action going on here. We got some purple. Not a whole lot, but we got some. We do have a little purple there. All right, so I got, I ended up with five colors. I got like a darker green, maybe a hunter green. <laughs> I have blue and I have red and I have my orange. So we don't have any paint brushes at home. Maybe you do, but I don't. So we're gonna go back to uh, the original uh, utensils before there was a fork or a knife or a paintbrush. They were hand. So we're gonna do some finger painting. So that's where your drawing comes in. So that drawing that you made, I want you to make your picture beautiful, make it you know elaborate, put different colors on there, shapes, dots, circles, whatever you want to do. So I want my heart to illuminate some love. So I'm just going to put some different colors to illuminate the love of this heart. A little red. Don't be shy. Put it on your finger. And go for what you know. And see, it's already starting out really nice, nice and thick like paint. Nice bold colors. They're not light and weak where you can't see them. And you can do whatever you want to do. This is your design. There's no wrong or white, right way. Miss Knight, I can't draw. I can't paint. No, this is your design. When you are the person that is creating a design, it's all about what you think it should, it should look like. So if it's beautiful to you, it's beautiful. Whether anybody says it's not, it's beautiful. So do what you want to do. Because this is your painting, it's your business, and uh, you want it to look how you want it to look. All right, so I'm done with my red. I'm going to change colors. Let me see. Let me put a little of this purple on there. Let's see here. All right, are you guys painting, making your designs? It's coming along good. Haven't messed up your mama kitchens yet. Because remember, if you mess up, you got to clean up. Don't make mama have to clean up the kitchen when you made the mess. You, you go in there, you wash, wash up and wash the tables. And if you drop some on the floor, wipe off the floor, sweep the floor. All right. I got that color. Let me switch up another color. So I'm just putting little dots on mine. That's just what I'm doing. You can do what you want to do. You make yours how you want to make it. That's right, Miss Davis. Help the parents clean up. Don't just leave it up to the parents to do it. You help out too. All right, and these little jars, the containers that you have, you close it up um, and you keep it sealed up. You can use it for another day. 
So if you don't throw it away, keep it. Whenever you want to do another painting activity, you can go ahead and pull your jars out and get your paper and you can go ahead and start painting. Okay, make it look just like how you want it to look. And then if you run out of paint, you have the recipe. You know what it takes to make this. So you can just make you some more. You don't have to beg mom for any paint. Mom, can you buy me some paint? Nope, that's right. This night taught me how to make paint so I don't have to have it. Just do what you want to do. Make it look like how you want it to be made. This is your creation. All righty. Let's see here. I guess I'll put a little bit more of this here. All right. Now, Miss Knight is not Picasso, don't y'all laugh at me. But this is my painting. It's got some beautiful colors on there. Got the heart. Is anybody else finished? Can I see anybody else's painting? Let me see. Is anybody else holding up theirs? Mm. French y'all, y'all got something? Jamie, what you got? Uh, now, Jamie, uh, I should Drake have you. Baby, you, 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 the Jane artist. is taking her time. I see. Right. Go ahead, Thank girl. you, Miss Drake. Prince, you right. approve. Okay. All right. All right. I see you, Zanaya. Okay. Beautiful. Jane, All right, Miss Davis. Show? I love it. I love it. Faith, what you got over there, girl? Oh, okay, I see you. I see Ms. you. Davis, let me see it again. Okay. Put like some grapes. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, uh, Faith, let me see it. All oh, right. Sweet. Good job, guys. And see, this is something that you can, when it's time to go back to school, you can tell all your uh, your classmates and all your friends at school, like, you know, during COVID-19, we learned how to make paint and you can teach them, them how to make paint. You can say, oh, making paint ain't hard. We did it before, it's easy. All it takes is salt, water, flour, and some food color. So it's a nice little arts and crafts. And you can put it on your mom's refrigerator. She would love to have it on her refrigerator. <laughs> you can take a nice picture of it since we learned how to take pictures of objects uh, from the lesson with Mr. Williams on Tuesday. You can take a nice picture, get some good lighting, and then you can do that or you can wait for it to dry and see if uh, you can uh, frame it. Maybe you might want to frame it or maybe put some construction paper and glue it on the back of it. You can do a lot of things with it. You can also maybe do some cards. Uh, I know Mother's Day is going to be coming up, so you could probably make a Mother's Day card with your paint, Father's Day. So you can just be, you can just do so much with this. So much. All right. Oh, yeah, you can. Thank you. You can clean up your mess with the with the Clorox wipes and the Lysol wipes that you just made on, on Wednesday. That's right. You can clean up with those. That's right. All right. Does anybody, anybody have any questions? Anybody has any comments? Don't forget to raise your hand if you have a question.
All right. So we're going to just reflect on what we just learned since we don't have any questions. Can somebody raise their hand and tell me what color is light? Let's see who was listening. We got any hands raised? Anybody shout to the roof to tell me what color is light? All right. Is that Drake? Miss Drake, maybe? Oh, we got two. We got a contender. We got Let's see um, a new. Um, um, go ahead. It's white. White. Good job. So the color of light is white. So what I want to hear from you guys, what I've been doing all this talking, is not all about me. It's about you guys. So tell me something that you learned tonight that maybe you didn't know before uh, we started. Tell me something that was fun in doing the activity. Just, just tell me how you feel. How you feel right now? How do you feel? Go ahead, Janai. Is that, is that Crenshaw? Who baby is that? Crenshaw. All right. Mm. I don't know that baby. She a new baby. What's your name, sweetie pie, in the, in the pink shirt? She's probably the Crenshaw. Name is? So. Hold on. Okay, go ahead. What's your name in the pink shirt? Uh oh, we gotta unmute you. I'm sorry. Hold on. We still got you muted. All right, now. Okay, <laughs> say it again. Say it again. Okay, one more time. That's gonna be a charm. Giselle. 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 All right, Giselle. I like it. Okay, so you want to tell me something that you learned or what you like to have done that you like that you did tonight? Tell me something. I learned how to make paint. <laughs> Boom. Boom. That's right, girl. That that was the whole point of the of the of the of the uh, Zoom call. You got it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Giselle. Anyone else? Oh, okay. Miss Drake has her hand up. Miss Drake. What'd you learn, Miss Drake? I learned how to make paint out of using the things you already have inside your house. Okay, cool. That was a point, too. All right. Good job. All right. What about Miss Danzy? All right, Faith. What you what you learned today? What did you enjoy doing tonight? I don't you. Did you hear it? I learned I liked making the paints and painting. Okay. Well, thank you. I'm glad you learned how to make paint and you like making paint. All right. Anybody else? Any other right. hand? Hadon. Hadon! Thank you guys for Good me. Good to see you again, Hadon. Um, my camera. You sure yep, you're on camera. You there you go. Oh, he muted himself. He muted himself. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay, I unmuted it. Me? Say it again. Yes, I hear you. I like I like the color because because they are so so colorful. <laughs> I like yes. making the the paint. Mm hmm. And see, yesterday you wanted to go out and buy paint. Now, which would have been better, going to buy the paint or making the paint like you did tonight? Make the paint. <laughs> All right. I'm glad you enjoyed it, Hadan. I make. I make All right. Paint. We got Miss. Oh, that's Jamie. Let's go. put Jamie on. Put Jamie on. She got a hand raised. Okay, I unmuted you, Jamie. Say something. Can I hear you? Um, 
Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh my God, Jamie. Oh, if I could fall out this chair, I would. Look how beautiful that is. Beautiful. Jamie is just a talented little girl. Just a little sidebar about Jamie. I love, I love all y'all. Some of y'all I've been had for years, and some of you guys I'm just meeting tonight. Oh well, on these calls at nighttime. But when I was at Glen Iris, Jamie was in second grade, and this little girl used to draw pictures, and it was just so fabulous. And I was like, you didn't draw that. I like, guess I did. I was just so convinced that she was tracing stuff because it was just so clean and precise. I was like, she, she's in second grade. She can't draw that good. But when she draw, she drew a picture and gave it to me, and I watched her draw it. It blew my mind. So Jamie, I just anytime she does any artwork, I'm just excited. So Jamie, what did you learn tonight? Or what did you enjoy about tonight's lesson? Oh, wait. Drawing. Okay, Jim, you got muted again. Say it again. Okay, I liked um, creating the paint and how we did it and painting with it. Okay. You heard no, me. We sure did. Yeah. We heard you. All right. Mm. Well, you know, it's Friday. It's the best day of the week. And I have truly enjoyed each and every last one of you all uh, seeing you guys' face uh, every night. Uh, I'm telling you, even though I'm not having contact, one on one contact with kids, but you guys doing this every night, it is definitely fulfilling my need for children and, and virtual hugs. I love each and every last one of you. You can be like, you don't know me, Miss Mike. I don't care. I love you anyway. I want you guys to keep tuning in. Tell your friends about it. Tell your neighbors about it. Tell your church members about it. Anybody that will listen, tell them about it. And Keep on doing these activities and stay motivated. I know this is the fun part of the day, but even during the day when you have to log in and do your schoolwork during the day, give it all you have. Do your best. Never give up. If you give up, take you five minutes, cool off, and go back at it again. So I love you. Take care. And we're going to get back started on Monday, 5 o'clock. Make sure you um, check out, follow us on Facebook. We're having technical difficulties on there today. If you have, um, show us your paintings, take a picture of it, post it on our Facebook page, send us the message of it. Uh, let us see them. Make sure you send them to us. You can also email them to us at breadcenter at bellsouth.net, which it should be currently on the screen for y'all. Um, but we have had a really good time this week. And we will see y'all on Monday at five o'clock. Miss Knight, uh, I sent you the lesson plans. We will post the schedule for next week. Um, we'll post it by Sunday, just so y'all get a feel for what we're doing next week. But there are not a lot of materials. We'll start off with Coach again doing PE. We're going to do some fitness stuff again. So we'll see y'all on Monday at five. Thank you. Give me a high five.